Art of Strategy unified familiar tank gameplay with real-time strategies. You can control just one vehicle or lead the entire squad into battle. As a tanker, you'll be in a group with six other similar players to beat one strategist. Keep in mind that some vehicle types and platoon play are not available in this case. You'll face seven strategists' vehicles and their defenses. Don't underestimate even the machine gun turrets, let alone the super powerful gun turrets. And although you don't need to destroy it to win, they can do significant damage to tankers' vehicles. Act together and keep a close eye on the enemy vehicles. The strategist can take personal control of any of them at any time. Playing as a strategist is something entirely new. At first, you need to assemble a squad balanced in vehicle types. To do so, all Tier 10 vehicles existing in the game will be available to you with the same exceptions as for tankers. All vehicles that a strategist has comes with a trained crew and pre-mounted equipment and consumables. You can't change it, but you won't have to pay for it or for repairs. During the countdown, the strategist needs to deploy defensive structures and the squad. The first is especially important because you can't move defenses during battle. If you have doubts, you can use auto-deployment that will also happen after the countdown. The choice of defenses is extensive. Stealthy watchtowers will help you spot opponents, while the guns will riddle their armor with holes. Gun turrets and MRLs can cover the largest targets. The quick-firing machine gun turrets will cool the fervor of agile enemies, while the flamethrowers, on the contrary, will generate some heat. However, remember that you can select and deploy only three types of defenses out of the six available. In battle, the strategist looks on the battlefield from above. They can select one vehicle by clicking its icon or the vehicle itself. You can select several vehicles at once with a frame. Right-click will send them where you need them. Single right-click will give them the order to fight with the specified opponent carefully in a positional skirmish. Double-click will make them attack them aggressively. Special markers will inform you when the vehicles are spotted, severely damaged, or destroyed. This knowledge is enough at first, but if you go deeper into controls, you'll see many opportunities. The command for reverse movement will allow the vehicle to retreat safely, while stop will cancel all previous orders. Pressing R will switch the vehicle into defensive mode, while pressing T will activate the passive scouting mode. You can give a series of orders by using shift, and of course, each vehicle is available for direct control by pressing Q. Just don't play too much with one vehicle. You must control everything. At the end of the battle, tankers and the strategist will earn credits, the number of which depends on the battle outcome and performance. Only the 1v1 battles, strategist v strategist, will be available on the first day of the common test. This will give you time to get adjusted to a new battle format and study the arsenal before facing tankers. After the 1v7 mode is enabled, you will need intel and orders to play as a strategist. They can be obtained by playing as a tanker. Intel is needed for playing in the strategist v7 tankers battle format, while orders are required for the strategist v strategist format, which plays like tank chess in real time. This is a true battle of minds.